let me, let me deal with Lucy here. Because what does the observational evidence show? I mean, we see Lucy, this is what you'll see in London Natural History Museum, and there she is, she's standing there doing the Pledge of Allegiance. I mean, come on. That's obviously an ape-like ancestor. I mean, look at the mug on that lady. I, I would not want to wake up next to her in the morning. This is not a person. This is obviously an ape-like ancestor. And look at her, she's standing upright. So only problem is that when she had a bad hair day, it was all over her body. That's not a good thing. Is this what, sorry, sorry, yes, man, sorry you. <laughs> is this what the evidence actually shows? We need to know what the evidence is because this is a reconstruction. Remember that the next time you see some great evidence, you think of Wendy's, where's the beef? Let's look at the beef here for a second. These are video clips from uh, Nova, PBS Nova. This is not a Christian television program. This program is being used in the schools to indoctrinate the children in evolution. Let's take a look at what they have to say in search of human origins with Don Johansson. This stuff is mind blowing. Let's listen and critique. We needed Owen Lovejoy's expertise again because the evidence wasn't quite adding up. The knee looked human, but the shape of her hip didn't. Oh, we've got to stop right there for a second. Now, we've got to understand some things here. In order to be an ape-like ancestor, be an evolutionary ancestor of people, uh, you have to have hips curved like a human to walk upright to be like a human. Apes' hips are curved pushing forward, making them knuckle draggers, walking on all fours, quadrupeds, okay? So, do you hear what he just said here? He said that the knee looked human, but the shape of her hip didn't. This is what they actually found. There's the actual bones that they found for Lucy. Did they even find a complete knee? And the response is, no, they did not. So how do they know the knee looked human? They don't. And then they said this, the shape of her hip didn't. Now, we got a major problem because if, oh, by the way, don't trust me about the knee thing. Let me let a non-Christian talk here. Uh, the skeleton called Lucy does not have an intact knee. Then how do you know it looked human? That's my question. And then it goes on to say this, that the shape of her hip didn't look human. Now, this is a major problem because if you're going to be an ape-like ancestor, you have to have hips curved like a human. What were her hips curved like? I'll let them tell you. Superficially, her hip resembled a chimpanzee's, Ouch. which meant that Lucy couldn't possibly have walked like a modern human. But Lovejoy noticed something odd about the way the bones had been fossilized. When I put the two parts of the pelvis together that we had, this part of the pelvis has pressed so hard and so completely into this one that it caused it to be broken into a series of individual pieces which were then fused together in later fossilization. Now, we got to deal with this for a second. You see how well those pieces fit together? This is like a jigsaw puzzle. It just fits together. He said that her bones were broken after she died and fused together in later fossilization. I'm not trying to be crude or crass, but let me ask you a simple question. When you die, are your bones fusing anymore? Your fusing days are done, friends. I'm not trying to be mean. The decay process starts once you die. How do bones fuse back together? Stick with me. We'll deal with it. It says that her hips look chimpanzee. That means there's a problem. Because she can't walk upright and be a human ancestor, they look chimp. So what happened? What happened to make Lucy with human hips turn into Lucy with chimp hips? Please, I'll let them tell you. After Lucy died, some of her bones lying in the mud must have been crushed or broken, perhaps by animals browsing at the lake shore. Uh, this has caused the two bones, in fact, to fit together so well that they're in an anatomically impossible position. Now, we got to deal with this. I'm sorry. I am not trying to be disrespectful, but did you hear what he just said there? He said that human hip Lucy, taking a stroll down by the lake, she dies. All the flesh rots off of her body, and a deer comes along and steps on her hip, crushing them, and then they fuse back together, and now they're curved like a chimp. You heard that, right? That's what he said. By the way, if an animal dies down by the lake shore, is it going to stay there for all the flesh to rot off? No. Scavengers are going to rip it apart and take it all over the place. And this is what he said, that her hips had to be human, but then that deer steps on and crushes them, and then they fuse back together like a chimp. And then he also said this, that the bones fit together so well, they were in an anatomically impossible position. What does that mean? That means that because her hips were curved like a chimp, she couldn't walk upright like a human, and that's anatomically impossible. But if Lucy was a chimp, what should her hips have been curved like? A chimp. Nothing anatomically impossible about that. Listen. 
The perfect fit was an illusion that made Lucy's hip bone seem to flare out like a chimp's. But all was not lost. You caught that, right? The perfect fit shows her hips to curve like a chimp, but that's an illusion. Why? Because you don't sell t-shirts or get TV time by finding monkey bones. You gotta find an evolutionary ancestor to make the big leagues, brother. We have hope. Now, if I told you what they did, you would not believe me. You would not believe me. I want to show you what they did in order to change these chimpanzee hips into human hips and Lucy become our ancestor. Lovejoy decided he could restore the pelvis to its natural shape. <laughs> He didn't want to tamper with the original, so he made a copy in plaster. He cut the damaged pieces out and put them back together the way they were before Lucy died. It was a tricky job, but after taking the kink out of the pelvis, it all fit together perfectly, like a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. As a result, the angle of the hip looks nothing like a chimp's, but a lot like ours. I hope so. <laughs> if you use a Dremel and cut out the stuff that you don't like, it better look like you want it to. What was so cool is we were standing in there, walking through this exhibit, uh, a couple of these young folks, uh, you know, we went up and we looked at the Lucy, the one where she's standing there doing the Pledge of Allegiance, and uh, they don't have that one at the Smithsonian, but what they've got is they've got uh, a reconstruction of just the bones, and they show her bones, human hip, human feet, human hands, because look at those hands, look at those feet. What does the actual evidence show? The actual evidence shows that her, the, her cousin's feet, her cousin's feet, they didn't find any hand or foot bones from Lucy. They found them from her cousins. Her foot bones, her cousin's foot bones, were more curved than a chimpanzee. Her hand, her cousin's hands, were more curved than a chimpanzee. You go to the museum, you see human hand, human feet, human hip, and that's not what the evidence shows at all.